Oh boy, you know it's serious when I got the camera pointed at myself. Hello, I'm back and I got another phone call from the post office today. I did an early stream because I anticipated that today was going to be the fan mail day and randomly they called on the exact day I had that plan, which is really neat. Uh oh. That was my nose strip. For those of you that don't know, I have a deviated septum, which basically means that my nose is crooked on the inside. Yeah, we're gonna be picking up the packages today, and I guess maybe this could be the Christmas video. I'm not sure. Maybe? One quick thing before I go. I wanna show you guys something really cool that I got recently. So this is the setup. If you've seen the house tour, you might have already seen it, but I've upgraded my desk. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Doing mundane tasks so we can get montage together. Yeah. I came prepared. I just want to scratch up the card. I probably should have cleaned off the car before I started recording myself. But what's the fun in a YouTube video if I don't make myself look stupid? Now my back's itchy. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that I sprayed myself with snow. I think we're good to go. Mm. That really hurt my thumb. We made it. Now that I think about it, this is my first time driving in the snow because I've never had a car during the winter before. This is the first year. Oh. Probably should have shoveled a little in front of me. Hey! We freaking did it! Let's go! I'm definitely shoveling that before I go back inside. 100%. We're in downtown Warwick. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna pick up the packages. Hopefully there's no priority mailer things. Oh, and because of the illness, look at that. Just loaded up the car. <laughs> we got lucky this time, no trolls. Turns out what they did last time was a federal offense. I know. A lot of packages. Man, traffic is busy. So funny story, uh, when I came up to the counter to get my packages, the lady was like, hey, uh, what's your PO box number? And I said, 666. And she's like, oh, it's you. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? And she's like, you're that YouTuber. We get a lot of packages because of you. And I was like, I'm sorry. They were asking all sorts of questions about like, how does the YouTube thing work? And like, and how did I get so many subscribers? And what did I do? And I said I was a gaming channel. So they're like, what are you doing picking up packages? Then I'm like, I don't know. And I think I got two new subscribers today. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, and at one point they were like, well, I hope uh, that you got a bunch of packages that you actually need. And I was like, well, I have no idea. And they're like, why? They sent me the packages. They picked them. I had no idea what was going to be in there. <laughs> and then they just laughed. Hey, am I, uh, am I in frame this time? All right, it's that time again. Anyways, welcome back to the second fan mail thing. I have my trusty box cutter and there's a mountain of, I'm hesitant to say gifts, but I'm, I'm hoping that they're good things. <sighs> okay. You know what, chat? You never cease to amaze me with just how random your packages can be. Anyway, I have I have an idea of what to do with this for a future thing. A 
birdhouse. I should probably note that I didn't ask for anything this Christmas. So I'm probably not getting anything other than like a card, maybe some socks. I figured with what's been happening this past year, I don't want to burden my parents. Uh, so this is my Christmas. So first thing, the birdhouse for Christmas. I think I know who this is from. Remember the fishing rod from the last fan mail? Well, it turns out they're one of my frequent donors and he said, you should do Hypixel Skyblock in real life. So that's what the fishing rod was for, was for fishing. I'm guessing this is for mining skill. <laughs> A gift for you from Jack. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Along with the pickaxe. So I was right, by the way. It is from the same guy. What is this? Little potion bottles? Is this for alchemy skill? <laughs> There's 16 little vials. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Am I obligated to make a high pixel sky block in real life video now? I'm sweating, hold on. Look at these things. They make a very concerning glass tingling, tingling, tinkling noise. And a whole bunch of fishing hooks for the rod. <laughs> More fishing hooks and fishing line. <laughs> Noise. If this video hits 20,000 likes, then we're doing Hypixel Skyblock in real life. I'll just straight up walk outside and start whacking things with a pickaxe. <laughs> this one's heavy. <laughs> no wonder it weighs 50 pounds. paper. I don't own a printer. I can't use this. You know, this reminds me of back in my youth when I first met Antoni and my friend Matt, who you guys have never seen. What we always used to do before Minecraft came out is during recess, we would always go out into the parking lot of the school and we would get copy paper and we would make paper airplanes. And I still remember the design to this day. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> now this thing is really good with tricks. It would flip, it would flip in the air. Okay, maybe not there. <laughs> Why is it going down? Yeah! I never threw them in class though. I was a good student before college happened. I actually was respectful. I'm, I'm so respectful, but I, I, had, I got good grades and I didn't throw paper airplanes. We've got a moderately sized and weighted package. Bengu. I've never heard of Bengu before. Seven color LED flashing lights. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay. One mouse. Two mice. Three. Four. Five. Okay, good. It's just five. Why? Why would you send five gaming mice? These don't look cheap either. The USB 3. It's got a braided cable. It could butterfly pretty good. I don't know what to do with these. Well, I mean, this is pretty neat though. I should try predicting what's gonna be in the next box. I guarantee you it's gonna be so incredibly inaccurate. <laughs> it's a bunch of salt. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You know, this is convenient because I don't have a salt shaker. So now, I mean, I got 
three. And then I'm not even done. There's another box inside of the box. It's full of airheads. <laughs> this is the most random box. I almost knocked over the salt. Two bags, three bags of airheads, four. 15,120 calories of airheads. You know what though, I kinda like airheads, I mean. I'm gonna give these away. Ah, oh, but I said I was trying to lose weight. And then you guys send me, oh, oh my God, it's got watermelon in it? Bruh. I didn't even know they made these still. Does it have the little seeds in it? Oh, it doesn't. I used to, I remember when I was like three, at some airport, I got <laughs> watermelon airheads and it had seeds in it. Well, fake seeds, but you know what? Life is often disappointing. Mm. Okay. I said I would try and guess the next package, or was that two packages ago? I don't know. Anyway, where did my box cutter go? That did not work. My guess? Another fishing rod. I don't know what else could be this long. Oh, what is... Not a fishing rod. No. No. There is absolutely no way. Is it even legal to send one of these? The mad lad sent me a katana? Bruh. I do not feel safe holding this. How do I test this? I can't just not test a katana, dude. I don't know why I'm testing this indoors, first of all. That sounds like a bad idea. I want you to stay. It's not that sharp. I don't think that's going through, but I'm gonna try. So if I were to... <laughs> I was right. It's not sharp at all. There's a grease mark on the box, but it did not slice it in half. Okay, that has got to be the coolest package that has ever entered the P.O. box. I was given a sword for Christmas. That's a title right there. And it comes with um, what I'm assuming is like a stand to put it on, like on a shelf or something. Bro, that is actually like really cool. I guess a painting or like a poster well, if there's a poster, it'd be wrapped up. So, a painting? Oh, I know what this is for. That is some sturdy packaging. How do you open this? Okay. It's a hoe. <laughs> This looks like an instrument of death. What even is this? You guys are giving me way too many things that I could hurt somebody with. They sent me an axe. I don't know what this thing is for though. Well, hey, thank you, man. I guess now I'm obligated to make the Hypixel Skyblock in real life video. I don't know when or how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna find a way. I mean, I know what's inside because there's a big picture on the outside, but why not? I got my very own ice drill. There's a lot of sharp objects being sent to my P.O. box and I don't know how to feel about that. Like, you don't see it, but there's a big blade at the bottom here to cut through the ice. <laughs> Another one from Amazon, and it has something metal in it.
Is this for carpentry skill then? I don't know if this is from the same guy. I'm guessing it is, because why else would someone send me a hammer? I mean, I want to break things. I want to have something to break, but I don't have anything. <laughs> and there's another similarly um, shaped bag with something else in it. Is this for me? Mouse traps. <laughs> Lots of mouse traps. What the hell? Why are there so many? What is the point of sending? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve mouse traps. You know, I have an idea with this. This is probably gonna waste a lot of my time and like make three seconds of the video, but I wanna try something. And then. That's actually kind of scary. Ooh, <laughs> there it is. The chain reaction. Woo! It didn't work. Oh my, <laughs> it launched it into the tree. It didn't work as spectacularly as I thought it would, but whatever. You know, this would have helped back in the basement up near school. I never said this, but I had a roommate for about four months and I could have got rid of him with one of these. All right, onto the last package. And then there's two letters. It's a bunch of nails for the hammer. I don't understand you people. <laughs> Hello 30 virus. My name is Marcus. I have been subscribed for three months and I really enjoy your content. You and Fezzi have kept me laughing at your videos during this tough time. I also made a meme. 30. Buys gems to upgrade island size so he can build more and asks his chat if it's okay. I remember this. Chat says yes. 30 virus haters. I'm gonna complain on the forums. He said he wouldn't use the community center, and he did. Ah! That was on the hardcore profile, by the way. I wanted to do a specific island build. Nothing that, you know, is related at all to progression. Like, the whole point of my no community center rule was so that I don't get any unfair progress. Hey! It's a Thano fish! <laughs> How it started. Today, we're going to be grinding in Hypixel Skyblock. And then there's a picture of my face. I just found a Titanic XP bottle. Okay, we're keeping this spike bait and we're putting it on display as Stano fish. Oh. I always love your videos and check daily for your uploads. When I got your cape and it popped up on stream, I went bananas. <laughs> Thanks for the content, keep it up. Hey, thank you, man. Oh, 289K out of 300K. So close. Oh, that's that's cool, man. That actually dates when this was sent because that must have been like five days ago. If you guys don't know the origin of Thano fish, well, me and Fezzi were fishing on the original Lemon Profile, the first ever time we played Skyblock. And I fished up this thing called the spike, Spiked Bait. And then I was just like, oh, that's interesting. And then before I got to pick it up, Fezzi picked it up and then he was like, we should put this on display as Thano fish because it looks like Thanos and then we both laughed and then that made history. And now there's like, there's a whole cult, like there's a discord full of like several hundred people that <laughs> have that as like their skin. People in Minecraft, in game, would wear spiked bait on their head and now there's merch. You know, subtle plug. You don't have to get it if you don't want it, but you know, it's in the pinned comment description. I'm so stupid. I almost did the outro without showing probably one of the coolest things. There's another box. And it was sent, believe it or not, by Discord. Hey partner, 2020, I don't know what it's called. 2020 is finally over. And for a lot of the world, that's something we've been wanting to hear. <laughs> this winter season, we wanted to do something a little special for both our newest and longtime partners. Inside this box is some hot chocolate mix and a brand new mug to drink. Ooh. We hope that the gifts contained in this box will help you stay warm and cozy in a time where we should all use a bit more comfort. Where we could all use a bit. I can't speak. Thank you so much for your contributions to not only your Discord community, but the platform as a whole. 
We've got some amazing thing planned for next year. Amazing things planned for next year. Let's make 2021 extraordinary. Hey, shout out to Discord for being such a cool service. I mean, I've always been a hermit, but like getting Discord and like talking every day to my friends, I've made all, almost every friend I've made in the past five years has been made on Discord. And it's a great place to harbor a community. And it's amazing to me that something like Zoom got popular when Discord was like right there. Why? Why weren't schools using Discord? I don't know, man. Oh, this is the hot chocolate mix. Oh, so funny story. YouTube last time also sent me hot chocolate mix. I don't really like hot liquids. The only thing I'll drink is tea. I don't like coffee. I don't really like hot chocolate. But I'll give it a shot for Discord and YouTube. Well, maybe we could see who has the better hot chocolate. But maybe I'll have to get somebody else here to test it with me because I, I don't know. Yeah. A Discord partner mug. That looks so freaking cool. Oh, I'm gonna, this might be my daily driver for a little while. That is neat. A little pin, a Discord partner pin with an igloo on it. I wonder how much this camera is able to zoom in. Like how much of this can you even see or how much of it is just pixels? I have no idea. They also sent a cookie. Look at that igloo. And this is the pin. Look at that. That's cool. Thank you, Discord. That's really freaking neat. Thank you to everybody, by the way. As weird as some of these packages are, they're really freaking cool. Okay, now roll the outro. It's been really fun, guys. I This was an interesting uh, fan mail video. I got a lot of construction stuff. I have to say, the coolest thing that we got today, by far, Anyways, I hope you guys have a good time this holiday season. Stay safe, quarantine as needed, and hopefully by this time next year, we all get to have our big family gatherings and whatnot without worrying about getting sick. Well, anyways, if you want to send something to the P.O. Box, I, I, this might become a series, honestly. Uh, I'll leave it in the pinned comment down below. I'm definitely going to find a way to make use of some of this stuff in the next video because like I mean come on you can't just have a katana and not slice things in half I need to find a way to sharp, sharpen this thing anyway I guess that's it so I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys later